In this uh, workflow on boundary surveys, we're going to do a video on putting together deeds. And I'm going to come over here to really what is the finished survey and collapse these groups down because I don't think I want you to see all of these right off the bat. Let me do the one that collapses all of them here. There we go. And we primarily want to take a look at the deeds here and uh, research in this video. So we're going to start by entering the deeds for three tax lots. Uh, I'm going to zoom in here in a minute, and the blue tax lot here is the one we're actually surveying. But I've got some deeds uh, to the north of it here that I want to include for adjacency um, issues. And I want you to notice that they all start up here at a quarter corner. So we're in the public land survey system. And if I open up this deed, all the calls on this deed are from the quarter corner between uh, section 25 and section 30 in the township range that we're working in. So if I take a look at this tax lot 1300, that's its first call or point of beginning. Here's the next traverse for tax lot 1200. That same point is its point of beginning and the same for um, tax lot 1100. So not surprising. I mean, this is typically how they're, they're done here. So I wanna leave this quarter corner in up here, but I wanna zoom in around these uh, deeds down here that I entered. And I could, if I wanted to, zoom around these, and that would get me in closer. But then as soon as I did a zoom extents, I would be right back to this. So here's what I want to do instead. I'm going to right click, choose zoom, and I want this one right here called window extents. Window extents says I want to define my own extents for the survey as I work on it. So I'm going to left click this, do like I would do for a window. I just zoom around it like this. But now I've got the ability to scale within that. So I can come into this and say, I want this to be uh, 40 feet to the inch. And it's going to keep those extents for me and let me scale. And that's really nice just for being able to see what we're, we're working on here. So here's my tax lot 1300 in blue. Here's my tax lot 1200 in sort of this brown color. And then my uh, tax lot 1100 in this uh, black. One of the neat things I can do with Traverse PC is that I can highlight a Traverse and I can tell Traverse PC to delineate it. Do you see how that gets highlighted in sort of this blue color? Then as I select other traverses, they get highlighted as well. It's kind of a slight gray, blue, bluish gray kind of highlight. So this is nice if I come back to a survey I haven't been in for a while. I just want to kind of see what I've, what I've got here, okay? So I put the deeds in, and what's the first thing we notice? That I've got some kind of a, a gap here, which is so typical. The deeds don't always fit properly. I've got gaps and overlaps, and uh, that's why we get paid to come in and try and reconcile that. So I simply came in, entered each deed with the uh, bearing and distance calls uh, from that uh, point of beginning, that quarter corner, and I, I want to first come in then and say, I want to draw this uh, traverse a certain way, and I just chose to use colors. You can use line types as well. So double click anything that's drawn by that traverse to bring up the traverse settings. And since this is deed information, these are all control points. I just said, I want to color blue. I'm not putting on any symbols. I am including point labels, um, and I'm just using a solid line. So for the next traverse, I did the same thing. Came in and said, double click it. This one I want to use, I guess it's actually a coral color. And if I had any side shots, I could use that same coral color for the side shots as well. It would be up, up to you. If I could come in and select that same color. If I wanted to. And then I did this for the final one up here. And I just chose black for this one or left it the color that it was. And for the, any side shots in here, I chose a dashed line. Uh, so I, I would notice that, hey, these are a separate call that I made in, in that deed or a tie that I made in that deed. And I like the colors like this because it helps me kind of keep track of which deed is which. And I can start um, making some decisions then about uh, where I'm going to hang my hat out here on this survey as I do my deed research.